Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to see place value. What is place value? Place value is nothing but the value where each digit is in a number. Some people use base 10 blocks to learn place value. This is the ones block, tens, hundreds and thousands block. Let's see an example. Let's add these base 10 blocks. So here there are 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In base 10 blocks, ones is represented as little cubes. Now let's see how many tens there are. 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 tens or 30 ones. Here as you see in each strip there are 10 ones. Or 10 cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's see how many hundreds there are. There are two hundreds. As you see, the hundreds based in block is a 10 by 10 grid. And now let's see how many thousands there are. There are one thousands. So the thousands base 10 block is a 10 by 100. So to add these base 10 blocks, you ignore the zeros and just write the numbers. So since there is no zero in 8, we write 8 as it is. Next, there is a zero in 30. So we ignore the zero and only write the 3. Next, we ignore the two zeros in 200 and only write the 2. And then we ignore the three zeros in 1000 and only write the 1. So as you see, these base 10 blocks add up to 1238. So how do we pronounce this? So how many thousands are here? 1. So we say 1000. How many hundreds are there? Two. So 1200, there are three tens, so 1230, the eight ones, so 1238. So to remember how many zeros are in each digit, so you might wonder how many zeros are in the hundreds. So to remember that, let me tell you a little trick. So remember the thousands as three hundreds as two and tens as one and the ones as zero so why do we remember the ones as zero because in the ones there's always only one digit and if that is a two digit we carry it to the next digit so there is no digits meaning that there are no zeros behind any digit in the ones place. Now let's say for the tens. Here in the tens, as you see, I mark tens as one. So that means there is one zero in the tens place. Now let's see for the hundreds. I mark the hundreds as two. So that means there are two zeros. And same with the thousands. I mark thousands as three. So there are three zeros behind the number. Let's see another example. Here there are 16 ones, six tens, three hundreds and one thousand. So as I told you in the last example that there is only supposed to be one digit in the ones digit and if there is more than one digit, we carry it to the next digit. So here we have two digits, which is 16. So we carry a 10. So here we carry this 10 over here to the tens place or to the next digit. So if there are 10 tens or more than 10 tens, we carry the 10 tens to the hundreds and same with the hundreds and so on. So we carry 10 ones and we made 
a new block and we made a new block and we made a new block here is a new block so that means instead of 10 we only have 6 remaining so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are only 6 remaining so we write the 6 down we cross out the 1 basically so we write the 6 down since So, since we ma made these 10 ones into a 10 strip, we add this 1 to the 6 in 60. So, that means we get a 7. And next, we write the 3 down as it is by ignoring the two zeros. And we write the 1. So that means when we add these base 10 blocks together, we get 1,376. Let's see this number 4,732. Here 2 is in the 1's place, 3 is in the 10's, 7 is in the 100's and 4 is in the 1000's. So what is the short form or abbreviation of 1's, 10's, 100's and 1000's? So the abbreviation for ones is O and tens is T and hundreds is H and thousands is TH. Thanks for watching.